So I've never actually seen one of these black suit costumes or the symbiote suit, which it's not really the symbiote suit. It should be the black suit, but they call them the symbiote suit on the package. I've never seen one in the store. I've seen full cases of this shit and he wasn't ever in the package. I don't know why he was so hard to come by and I don't know why he was so in demand because there's been so many black suit, symbiote suit, Spider-Mans along the way. And it, I didn't hear anybody screaming for a black suit Spider-Man. I get it. I, you know, it seems like everybody wants them. If you slept on it, I don't know how you guys don't have a symbiote suit, black suit, black costume Spider-Man when there's been like nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight available or seven available up until this point. I did want to get them in the collection. Um, after taking a quick glance at them, I think that maybe this is one that I could have passed on for 25 bucks on the Hobgoblin. I told myself I wasn't going to get a Hobgoblin just because I didn't like him because he didn't have scales on him. And then when I saw him, I was like, damn, he actually looks pretty cool. So I went ahead and picked him up. And then you have the hammerhead. God, I love that hammerhead. If that thing was had pinless elbows, he would be like one of my favorite figures of the year. I just think, I know it's just like kind of a repaint of some shit with the new head, but... It actually looks pretty good. Let's check this shit out. It's not the first time I've seen the side of you. I'm through and now you're walking on. Such a thin line and I'm about to lose my nerve when I want this time. Cost me so much. Now even in the dust, everything we had, it threw it away and die at once. Go ahead and start with my favorite one from the set, this hammerhead. This thing is truly amazing. When they showed that they were making this, I was super stoked. He does come with, um, I don't know if you can get it to focus, brass knuckles. I don't know if anybody can read what that says. That It didn't come out that clear. No clue. I, I've tried to figure it out. I figure whatever it is, it's backwards for when you punch, you can read it. It'd be nice if somebody could figure that out and let us know. The Golden Eagle didn't come with him. This came from the Action Force. Um, the gun pack, one more reason to buy those gun packs because you can use it. Also comes with the blast effects. So you can actually put a real amazing gun in his hand instead of this bat, which the bat that he comes with is also pretty cool. But I just, I don't know. I, I actually stole this idea from somebody on Instagram. They put this Golden Eagle in his hand and I was like, oh, I can't wait to do that. That just looks truly amazing. It matches the gold brass knuckles. This thing is 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 just great. It's it's got a different um jacket on them than the uh than the happy action figure. I guess I should probably go get him. You know, let's just let's make a, let's make a trip over there and let's go get him. You guys you guys deserve to see it. Plus it'll give you a little glimpse of my messy toy room. Where is he? There he is. Which I'm not really doing the movie figures, but since this is a guy that created the Mandalorian, saved Marvel, saved Star Wars, I figured uh, I should go ahead and get him. So here's these two figures side by side. Do they have the... Looks like they got the same shoes, same pants, same arms with pins. That kind of sucks. This one has a cell phone. So you can see the jacket is completely different. Looks like the tie is the same. Um, this is another one that you could get like a few of to like put different heads on like bigger, bigger suited characters, but he came in a two pack. She really can't do that. And then here's the old hammer head that you got. You got a chameleon and he came with three different heads, nice and rattly. And one of the heads that he came with was a hammerhead. So you no longer need this. You can take that head, throw it in the trash, and you can put like a different head on there, like a, I don't know, um, Daredevil, like an unmasked head or something. I, I've, I actually bought like six of these things. Every time I saw one, I bought it. Like back then, action figures weren't 25 bucks either. And I would just throw all kinds of unmasked heads on this body. And now they've made a bunch of different suited bodies. And now I got like six of these. So I really don't need six of these, but there's the old one there's a new one i mean i i thought this was pretty good of course it's nowhere near as good as the new one that new one man that's a suit that's 
God, that thing turned out amazing. I absolutely love that figure to death. And then you have the black suit Spider-Man with all these other Spider-Mans. This is the... Uh, this is my favorite one. This is the one if he has a hole in the hand. So that's that's the symbiote suit. And it says right here on the package, symbiote Spider-Man. Which this is the symbiote Spider-Man. And this, unless I'm wrong, is the black costume Spider-Man. Because there's no hole there. Which is weird. See that little black dot? So this one, the web comes out of the top of his hand. And this one, the web comes out of the bottom of his hand so he's got the web shooting hands so you can take like the symbiote one and put him over here which this is the one that i actually have on display you put him over here in your dark avenger team he's messing right now because i'm literally holding him normally he goes right in the front of that team you put your symbiote suit spider-man back over there in that team for like a venom spider-man which I don't know, that, that team's actually really amazing. Then you have the, let me put that back there. The battle damage one, which that's the same as this one in case you missed out on this one. This is why I'm saying, I don't know what the big deal was to get another one out. It's a different body. I actually like the skinny body better than this little buffer body, but it's kind of whatever. They both look good. The eyes are different. Like this one has the big sculpted on McFarlane looking eyes, which I absolutely love. And then you have these ones that are, are they sculpted on? Oh, they are sculpted on also. But then you have the smaller eyes, which I don't like as much as these eyes. I definitely like this better. So then you have the battle damage one. So you could get this one if you missed out on this one. You could get the battle damage one if you missed out on that one. Uh, I don't know how you guys don't have any of these things. Or maybe you do. Maybe you have them all. This is also the one that came, I think it was like with the kingpin wave or something. That was cool. Totally different suit. You have the Marvel Select one, which is kind of stupid. I don't like that at all. I wish I would have found these that instead of my boy finding it, because then I could have given one of these back. This is like the old one where it has the balls on the hips, which I, I hate these. These are like figures that I'm trying to get rid of, the balls on the hips. I don't want really any of these things in my collection anymore. This has the blue paint on it. I love the blue paint on it. You can see on the package how it has the blue paint on it. And it also has an accessory, which would have been nice to get a web accessory with Spider-Man. But, you know, why, why would they do that for 25 bucks? And then you have another old one. This one, I think it's the same as this one. Yeah. So this one had the blue paint on it. This one just had the black paint on it. Different um, spider on his chest. They both have holes in the hands for a symbiote suit. Um, man, I just got way too many of these. I just definitely don't need this many. Then you have this other old one, which I actually liked this one. This one also has the hole in the hand. So it's crazy, the new one, it's like the only one that's not a symbiote suit, but then they call it the suit instead of just the black costume Spider-Man. So not real sure what happened there. I thought this one was pretty cool. Like all these old ones are kind of obsolete after these new ones. Like these things are definitely like really good. So there you go. You got another black suit Spider-Man in your collection of black suit Spider-Mans. He does come with a bunch of extra hands. You got your web hand and your punchy hand. I went ahead and did the crawling hands on that one. And then you have the Hobgoblin. The Hobgoblin was one that I said that I definitely didn't need. And then I saw it. And I was like, man, that color of that thing looks really good. Like, I kind of feel like I need to add that thing in my collection. And then you have this big, nice, amazing Hobgoblin glider with the smoke effect. That one actually came with this old, I'm pretty sure this is like a Toy Biz one, with the balls on the hips. So I'm thinking, which one can I get rid of? I definitely don't want this many hobgoblins in my collection, so I'll probably go ahead and give this one back to Walmart. I just don't need all of these things. I like the ripped up cape. I mean, God, I don't know, man. It's kind of hard to get rid of one. They're all different. This one used to come with two heads, so you get the demon goblin back here. Huh. I don't know. Should I let one go? Should I keep them all on display? It's kind of hard. But if you get the old one, man, just to have this old, like, look at that thing. Man, That now that's a glider. Look at that. Nice and big. Got a cool effect. Has wheels on the bottom. You can roll it around, play with it on your 
on the floor. And then you have this one. It doesn't have the pointy boots. It doesn't have the scales, but man, that color really pops and is, he doesn't stay on those damn pumpkins, man. I don't know why they couldn't give you a few extra pumpkins because those things bounce. They go all over the floor and good luck finding them. Would have been nice if they give you a couple extra. I do like this. Man, when you see it, like, God, you set him next to all these other ones and he just really stands out. I kind of felt like I needed it. Then here's the one with the demon goblin face. So it was the same as this one. It's crazy how that one's like the same color as that one and then they made them like 15 years apart. I guess that's it. I think you've seen enough. Thanks for watching and I haven't forgot. Let's go, Brandon.